participants uh, welcome back now uh, let us uh, focus on the first uh, technical session of this program uh, that is uh, an overview of uh, curriculum development uh, curriculum uh, in fact uh, uh, is a, a very important uh, component of a teaching learning process i mean if you really want to achieve uh, the the goals and objectives of uh, uh, any program your your, your curriculum uh, is one uh, component that you need to really focus on your your curriculum uh, should be uh, well designed uh, designed in a proper way uh, by uh, getting feedback uh, from uh, various experts uh, various uh, stakeholders uh, in this uh, particular session i will be uh, sharing uh, with you uh, my uh, my thoughts on what is the meaning of curriculum first of all sometimes uh, my friend uh, there are certain terms which are being used interchangeably for example uh, when i say this word curriculum then it is quite possible uh, that uh, you might also be thinking about the term syllabus all the time because uh, syllabus and curriculum these are the two terms uh, which are being uh, used interchangeably so what exactly uh, is uh, this uh, term curriculum and how it is uh, different from syllabus so this is one thing uh, that i will share with you the concept of curriculum uh, the the difference between curriculum and syllabus and then the most important thing uh, is uh, that what are uh, what are the different stages of curriculum development so there are different there are different steps there are different stages uh, when we develop the curriculum so i will be sharing with you what are different stages the names the names of uh, those stages and what we actually do during uh, those uh, stages so so these are the so these are the things uh, which i will be uh, sharing with you uh, in this session now uh, coming to uh, first of all coming to the concept of curriculum what is curriculum okay now this again is a, is a very very uh, important aspect if if we are uh, focusing on this uh, uh, program which is entitled curriculum uh, design uh, curriculum design and evaluation uh, we must have a common understanding as to what is what is the meaning of curriculum okay so what is curriculum <clears throat> actually uh, this uh, this word curriculum uh, it is uh, derived from a, a latin word curare c u w r e r e curare and what what is the meaning of curare curare means race course so actually uh, curriculum uh, uh, if you if you see from uh, a latin uh, viewpoint then curriculum means race course now how how this curriculum and uh, the, the 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 concept which we have in our mind that this uh, this is curriculum and how the curriculum is related to race course okay now there are certain features uh, in race course uh, that are similar that are same uh, as uh, that with curriculum now in race course see you see you visualize the race course there are three important uh, uh, features of a race course one is the starting point okay you have a starting point where from where the race will start okay and in curriculum also my friends we have a well defined starting point okay say for example uh, uh, starting point means you you can talk about the entry level entry level of the students right? for a particular program there is the entry level for some program the entry level is 10 plus for other program the entry level is 10 plus 2 you know? so entry level is uh, by and large fixed so and then my friend the second feature of race course is the end point you know? the, the the finishing line so well defined finishing line is there that at this point if the horse uh, crosses this line then that that uh, race is complete for that horse okay so in curriculum also in curriculum also there is a, is a well defined finishing line uh, generally uh, nowadays uh, see uh, when, when i say your your curriculum your program is complete you, know, you have you, you have completed the program what does that mean 
that the the number of subjects which i wanted to teach that you have you you have learned those subjects you have passed on the on this subject area maybe at diploma level there are around 30 to 35 subject areas so you you study those 35 subjects and if you pass those subjects so you get the diploma in in degree level say how many subjects are there total in eight semester maybe around more than 40 subjects 40 42 45 whatever subjects are there so if you pass those 45 subjects then uh, then you have then you have crossed that finishing line then you have crossed this finishing line uh, nowadays uh, my friends uh, we talk about the credits uh, no? at diploma level uh, you need to achieve minimum 120 credits at uh, degree level you need to achieve how many credits you need to achieve at a degree level uh, anyone uh, any participant who would like to tell how many credits you are you require to achieve at a degree level uh, 180 credits 180 180 credits so you need to achieve uh, uh, as per AICT guideline you need to achieve 180 credits if you really want to get a degree so so that so that is the finishing line that if you achieve uh, the, this much credit you will be awarded a degree or you will be awarded a diploma and then my friend in the race course so so two things in race course one is the starting line and the second one is the finishing line and the third feature of a race course is the path the path which the uh, which the horse on, on which the horse has to run that is also well defined you know, in race course you will you will see uh, in the picture that it is a circular you know, that there is a circular race course so on which the horses have to run you cannot uh, uh, have your own path you have to run on that on that uh, well defined path only and uh, my friends in curriculum also uh, you have to uh, when, when i talk about the path i talk about the sequence of subjects what, what does that mean that in this first semester you will have to study these subjects these five to six subjects so once you pass those subjects in the second semester again you are offered five to six subjects so there is a sequence of subjects and you have to uh, you have to uh, pass those subjects sequence wise you know? so so all the three three things that are common uh, as far as race course and curriculum are concerned that is the starting line uh, the finishing line and the path to be traversed that is why uh, we we equate uh, curriculum uh, with race course now otherwise uh, what does curriculum mean as a curriculum designer i say now now this is thing this is very important thing uh, i i will share with you two or three so two or three definitions of curriculum and i will also link it with curriculum uh, but, uh, I will also link it with syllabus also. But what first of all, what is curriculum? Curriculum means all the student activities which the institute sponsors for the purpose of achieving its objective. So this is the first thing. What is curriculum? So whatever activities you think, think of all the activities which the students are carrying out in your institute. If they, they are with you for three years. They are with you for four years. So think of what are the activities. I will give you four to five minutes. So uh, think of all the activities which which the uh, which the uh, uh, which the institute uh, is uh, sponsoring, uh, which the institute uh, is uh, which the students are uh, carrying out. Uh, so so that is that is curriculum. Is it clear to all uh, all the friends? Uh, what, what is curriculum now so here curriculum again uh, let me repeat curriculum means all the activities all the student activities that are being carried out in the institute to achieve the goals so ultimately there are there is a certain objective in in my mind if i am offering a degree program in mechatronics i have certain objective in my mind and to achieve that uh, objective I, I ask the student to uh, carry out certain activities and all those activities that is curriculum that is curriculum i will just uh, give you one or two minutes uh, you can you can go to the message box to uh, you can also unmute and i would like to know from you what are what are different activities uh, which you visualize that these are the activities main activities which the students are carrying out in the institute 
whatever see from 9 to 5 they are there with you so what are the activities which the students are carrying out in the institute please list it down you, you can go to the message box i give you around two minutes all the participants please go to the message box what activities are being carried out by uh, the students when they are in the institute because curriculum means all the student activities so i would like to know from you what are those activities which are being carried out by the students you go you go to the message box all my friends who are connected online go to the message box and please write down maybe you are able to identify two activities three activities whatever activity the students are carrying out in the institute please list them down you take your own time all my friends Yes, Sharada Singh. Sharada Singh says academic and non-academics like sports, craft, activities. N. Rose, N. Rose says projects, seminars. Monal Dutta says attending the classes. Okay, this is, a, this is the core activity. Attending the classes. Very good. Dr. Aparna says theme, lunch, seminars. Okay, seminars. Okay. Uh, Ranjit Yadav says micro projects, seminars. Okay, any other activity? Sports, innovation activities, expert talk, attending the expert talk. Rameshwar Thote says expert talk. Demonstration, yes. Seeing the demonstration, Dr. Aparna, very good. So, so in the laboratories, they, they are actually seeing the demonstration. They are watching the demonstration. So that is one activity. Presentation, yes. N. Rose says presentation. They are making presentation. Attending the seminar and workshop. Monal says attending the seminar and workshop. Rameshwar says field visit, okay, very good. Industrial visit, field visit, that is, that is also uh, any activity. So internship, internship is an, another activity, okay. Any other, any other activity that uh, comes to your mind? Any other activity that comes to your mind, my, your mind, my friends? So 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 let us see. So let us revise. Attending the classes, presentation, seminar field visit, industrial visit, internship, and then uh, then uh, presentation, seminar, conferences, workshops. Yeah, Balwant says workshop, attending webinars. Okay, very good. So, so these are the activities uh, which are being carried out. And my friends, all these activities, all these activities are part of curriculum. All these activities are part of curriculum. Uh, just uh, just let us see uh, i have also i am also showing uh, you uh, i am also showing you uh, this uh, uh, ppt slide see uh, in the first of uh, first photo they are they are attending the classes then in the second photograph on the right hand side see they are going to the library right? so so many uh, so many times when a period is free or during lunch time or, or or any other time or sometimes the, the teacher is also asking the student that you 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 complete this assignment you go to the library so the the student refers to a library uh, some books or magazine or or some research paper so going to the library and uh, reading and uh, reading there reading uh, reading some certain book uh, completing the assignment that is also one one of the activity and then third figure i am showing they are performing the experiment in the laboratory in the laboratory uh, in the in the laboratory session they are performing the practical uh, performing the practical so performance of practical is another activity and playing sports is another activity so my friends all the activities uh, which the students are carrying out in the institute that is that all all these activities together they are called curriculum that is part of curriculum okay Another uh, another uh, another aspect uh, which uh, I would like to share with you what is curriculum uh, is. Uh, but before curriculum, I would like to know from you uh, what is syllabus and what is the difference between syllabus and curriculum. So, what is syllabus? Uh, I would like to know from you. Uh, any any participant, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to share your thoughts, I would like to. You can unmute directly. Or, or you can go to the message box. What is syllabus? Uh, you, you take uh, one or two minutes. What is syllabus? And then second thing is, what is the difference between 
syllabus and curriculum so so these these are the basic things uh, that must be clear to you uh, you are attending a program on curriculum design and evolution so concept of curriculum must be clear to you a uh, difference between curriculum and syllabus must be clear to you so any any participants i would like to get your feedback what is what is syllabus and what is the difference between syllabus and curriculum curriculum i i give you one one uh, uh, one concept i give you that all the activities which the which the students are carrying out in the institute that is that is curriculum okay so monal monal says syllabus is detail of every course with their respective credit point okay detailed concept and rose says detailed concept syllabus is one or particular subject or activity okay so i will bring the uh, i will bring some more clarity so all all the participants are very very clear about what is syllabus and what is curriculum uh, shraddha singh says uh, syllabus is one or particular subject or activity one particular subject syllabus is one particular subject or one particular activities that is syllabus so that is what what shraddha singh says uh, any 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 other participant uh, monal says curriculum contains all the academic or non academic activities of particular course okay uh, any other thing uh, any other uh, any other feedback what is what is uh, what is uh, take 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 your own time what is syllabus and and what is curriculum syllabus is more specific and the curriculum is general okay 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 so so here uh, the the my, my friend who is attending here uh, 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 in the institute netra chandigarh he says uh, uh, curriculum uh, syllabus is the specific and the curriculum is is general okay ranjit uh, yadav says curriculum is mixture of syllabus course design classes time table uh, sharad kumar says curriculum is mixing of syllabus and evaluation okay okay uh, so uh, my friends uh, let us uh, let us come to uh, to uh, the uh, we will get to the we will see the feedback of other people also uh, as you write down uh, but okay so what so let us say uh, maybe i can have a different slide and then and then i can write so what is syllabus okay in in one line in, in a few words what is syllabus syllabus says what to teach simple what to teach that is syllabus is it clear i think uh, all of you will agree what to teach whatever you are teaching and some principle you are teaching some uh, uh, you are teaching newton law you are teaching ohm law you are teaching kirchhoff law whatever you are teaching whatever you are teaching certain process your principle procedure some uh, formula you are teaching some uh, uh, problem solving you are teaching whatever you are teaching that is syllabus okay so syllabus uh, uh, by and large uh, so that is syllabus then what is curriculum in reference to what i have written what is curriculum syllabus is what to teach any topic any topic that you are covering in the in the classroom that is syllabus any topic whatever you are teaching in the classroom you are teaching in the classroom you are teaching in the library laboratory uh, during uh, uh, during field visit uh, or uh, wherever you are teaching so whatever you are teaching that is syllabus. what is curriculum so curriculum uh, my friend uh, if you uh, if you see it from syllabus angle okay because i will compare it with you so it is a broader term okay uh, my friend here also talked about this one so it is a broader term as compared to syllabus so syllabus uh, syllabus is a sub part of curriculum okay curriculum is a much broader term so when i say a broader term so curriculum will cover syllabus so curriculum will also cover what to teach okay so because the syllabus uh, is contained in the curriculum so syllabus curriculum will also cover what to teach but in addition my friends in addition to that there are certain some additional thing which curriculum is uh, covering so what are what are those things why to teach why to teach okay yes why to teach why i am teaching a particular subject why are you teaching uh, uh, c language why are you why we are teaching manufacturing technology why are why we are teaching communication skills to degree holder why are why we are teaching a database management system you know? why we are teaching a particular subject that is part of curriculum that is part of curriculum 
then how to teach how to teach that again my friends that is part of curriculum in syllabus you will not get this thing in syllabus no one will tell you how to teach if if you are a teacher teaching the subject of engineering graphics your your method of teaching will be entirely different as compared to uh, a teacher uh, who is teaching uh, english and communication skill if you have to teach communication skill your uh, your teaching style will be different if you are teaching uh, c language your your teaching style will be different so how to teach a particular subject that is curriculum when when my friends when we are designing the curriculum uh, you you see any curriculum document which is prepared by nitra chandigarh uh, in our curriculum document every for every subject area we write down the instruction strategy every subject area in 8 to 10 lines we are writing down that if you have to teach this subject what should what instruction strategy you need to adopt that is how to teach that means how to how you should teach that subject that is up to the teacher uh, to what extent uh, uh, the, the teacher uh, follows the, those instruction strategy but as a curriculum designer we write down that this is the best instruction strategy this is the way you you should teach this particular subject area. how to teach so what to teach why to teach how to teach and then uh, another thing is how to evaluate how to evaluate whatever i wanted to teach i have already uh, i have taught and i want to check i want to check whether the student has really achieved or not simply teaching does not mean curriculum teaching as well as checking whether the student has really learned or not so student evaluation is is a, a part of curriculum so my friends so let us uh, revise it what is syllabus what is curriculum syllabus means simply what to teach whatever you want to teach you know, broad guidelines you uh, you uh, sometimes you are you are offered you are asked to teach a subject area which you have never taught and you you ask your hod you ask your principal sir what is the syllabus uh, okay i will teach this subject but what is the syllabus and then you are given a one page one page head out okay this is the syllabus this is the that that is the syllabus part uh, where uh, the, the the topics are written that this is the thing uh, that you have to teach uh, for this subject area that is syllabus what to teach but if the curriculum the curriculum is the curriculum not only includes syllabus but it also includes why to teach how to teach and how to evaluate whatever you have taught how to evaluate so if all these things that evaluation scheme uh, it covers the evaluation scheme so curriculum is a broader term uh, as compared to the syllabus uh, i think uh, all, all my friends are clear about uh, the the concept of syllabus and uh, and the the curriculum okay uh, then we can go to the next slide okay now uh, we go to the next slide and that is what are the stages of curriculum development so what for first of all curriculum development uh, when i talk about curriculum development i am talking about all the uh, all the projects uh, that uh, we at nitra chandigarh are getting uh, from various uh, uh, engineering colleges various universities aicte uh, state boards so they request us uh, they request our institute to to design the curriculum for a new program or or sometimes some program is already going on in your institute and and they ask us to update the curriculum they ask us to revise the curriculum so so my friend curriculum designing curriculum revision curriculum updation that is all this is curriculum development so curriculum development okay just uh, note it, note it down what is curriculum development curriculum development means revision of curriculum updation of curriculum and design of curriculum all this is curriculum development so sometime we are getting the at nitra chandigarh sometime we are getting a project to design the curriculum for a new program and uh, so say for some time back there are number of participants from haryana 
so sometime back uh, from your institute uh, from your uh, state we, we got a project uh, to design a diploma course uh, in artificial intelligence and machine learning so so this is so this is the one project which we got from the state of haryana uh, our diploma program uh, in artificial intelligence and machine learning so so this so this is a new new new, new program uh, that they will be uh, they have launched uh, uh, in, uh, in this academic session and and we are designing the curriculum for this one similarly uh, if there is some program already going on say uh, say our diploma program in, in electrical engineering our diploma program in mechanical engineering you are you are running it for last 6 to 8 year and you want to update it right? you want to revise it revision of curriculum so all these curriculum design curriculum revision they are part of curriculum development okay so my friends uh, whenever we get a project uh, to design a curriculum or revise the curriculum we follow a very systematic process and then we follow there are four stages uh, through which this curriculum goes what are those four stages uh, now this is very very important please note down all those four stages the first stage is called need analysis this is the first stage need analysis so first stage of curriculum development is need analysis analyze we analyze the needs uh, why why we are developing this curriculum so i will i will tell you uh, in detail about this one what we are doing for every stage but the first stage is need analysis the second stage is called curriculum design design curriculum design sometimes we get the project to revise the curriculum so in that context we can also say curriculum design and or curriculum revision so either we are designing the new curriculum or we are revising the existing curriculum so that is the second stage curriculum design or curriculum revision okay then my friends the third stage is called curriculum implementation whatever curriculum has been designed that is implemented implemented uh, by the stakeholder in their institute and after implementation also there is another stage that is called curriculum evaluation curriculum this is curriculum evaluation okay evaluation of the curriculum curriculum evaluation and my friends uh, this is a this is a continuous process uh, it is not that we only design it for one time and you implement it no it is a continuous process continuously you we are getting the feedback and and based on that feedback again you are analyzing the need again uh, you are redesigning the curriculum implementing it once again and see and find out what what is the result whether there is any, any improvement so curriculum development is a continuous process and undergoing uh, these uh, four stages that is need analysis curriculum design curriculum implementation and uh, and curriculum evaluation so these are sequence of steps yeah yes yes all, all these are uh, uh, so this is the sequence uh, you have to follow in fact we we cannot design the curriculum unless until we carry out need analysis so my first step is to carry out need analysis okay so i will i will tell you what, what, what are the what, what we are doing uh, whenever we get a project to design a curriculum or to revise the curriculum what these are the four stages uh, 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 that we are following but what we are carrying out uh, during these uh, stages that i will tell you so what is done in the first stage what is need analysis what is need analysis analyzing analyzing the need for designing a curriculum analyzing the need for revising a curriculum i i will ask my client sir what is the need why do you want to design this curriculum that means why you uh, the, my my client my stakeholder uh, they, they they want to offer a new program uh, in their institute so i am asking them sir why do you want to offer this program is there any employment opportunity that is why you want to offer this program if there is any employment opportunity is it a uh, is the employment avenue in the uh, in the public sector or private sector no? so that is important for me if there is an employment opportunity 
is it short term employment opportunity or long term employment opportunity that that means i mean sometimes the people from industry say sir please give me 50 people in this area okay and we offer this program but 50 people i can give them uh, in in one batch they will get 50 people after that again uh, but i i am turning out 50 people every year so what about the other people in the next year also we'll be having 50 people next year again we'll be having 50 people so is my employment opportunity uh, only once for a while or every year or every year we are get, or every year every year we are getting this employment uh, uh, opportunity so so this is very very impl uh, important employment avenue so is it a long term or short term uh, it is a, a, a uh, it is once once for a while or every time every year uh, the, those employment opportunities there uh, uh, is it uh, is it in the government sector or it is in private sector in or in both the sectors so i i check up uh, from the, from my client or otherwise also i go to the industry so if there is a new new program and and uh, uh, the someone is ask, asking me to design the curriculum for a new program and i go to the industry to check up if if the, that program is uh, uh, is offered and students uh, pass that program are there employment avenues for them uh, if, uh, if that uh, if they pass that program you know? so so my friend before designing the curriculum before designing the curriculum before designing the content i focus on the employment opportunities now my friend sometimes uh, my, my experience uh, as per my experience sometimes I, as a curriculum designer, I have found out sometimes there are fancy names given to certain uh, uh, programs and sometimes uh, the institutes are getting uh, approval uh, to offer a program, but, but employment opportunities are not available. Uh, employment opportunities sometimes are not available. But anyhow, uh, institutes do get uh, sometimes that approval is there or that pressure is there, there to offer certain program uh, in a particular year. And sometimes, my friend, I have seen uh, that uh, if uh, some uh, particular uh, institute is uh, uh, approaching us, asking us to design a curriculum, and if we do not find any employment opportunities, we will tell our clients, sir, there are no employment opportunities and sorry we will not be able to design the curriculum for this program so my friends for us as a curriculum designer employment opportunity is very very important if you are offering any program especially any technical program there has to be certain employment opportunity if there is no employment avenue then my friends we will not design even if we are getting if we do we get the consultancy or not we will not design the curriculum if there is no employment opportunity so this is very very important my friend we we before designing the curriculum we analyze the need we go to various industry we interact with the, our client and check out whether employment avenues are available or not second point job profile what is the job profile of the students that will be passing out from that program someone is asking me to design a, a, a curriculum i want to know what is the job profile so wh whether it is a blue collar job or white collar job you know what is white color job and blue color job blue color job means uh, the people who are working at the shop floor and white color job actually means uh, related to activities related to management working in the office uh, uh, working on table and chair sitting uh, uh, on the chair so 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 that is white color job so so nowadays a lot of activities uh, because a lot of automation has uh, taken place uh, and due to uh, due to that so many uh, there's a lot of change in the job profile shifting to uh, white collar uh, jobs so i we would like to know uh, from the from our client uh, or we check ourselves what is the job profile for for a particular degree level program or a diploma level program or a certificate level program so job profile at need analysis stage i check out what are the employment avenues and what type of job job profile actually means what type of activities our students will be do, uh, doing when they go to the industry right? after when they get employment what type of activities our student will be doing maybe they are involved in quality control maybe they are uh, uh, control uh, they are involved in marketing or they are involved in manufacturing 
So what activities our student will be doing? Or they are involved in production planning, or they are uh, involved in uh, program uh, preparing programs, writing the program, coding. Right? So activities, focus on active job profile means activities. Right? What type of activities they will be doing when they will be working in the industry? That that is job profile. Another important point, my friend, uh, at the need analysis stage is technological development. If someone is asking me to design the curriculum in the area of electronics and communication engineering, ECE, in the area of ECE, whether it is degree program or diploma program, before designing the curriculum, I would like to know what is the technical advances in the area of ECE? What type of processors are being used? What type of sensor transducers are being used? You talk about digital electronics. Analog electronic, what type of, there are so many instruments nowadays which are being used. So I would like to be updated if I have to design the curriculum. I at this need analysis stage, I would like to know what are the latest technological advances in the area of ECE. And that I will make it part of the curriculum. I will make it part of the syllabus. So need, my friend, need analysis stage is very, very important. I mean, a, a curriculum design is not cut and paste that you, you take a certain thing from internet and you, you take certain material, paste it, and that is no, it is, it's a very systematic process. You, uh, we spend a lot of time uh, in need analysis. We go to various industries, interact with the people from the industry, and that is how we, 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 uh, we uh, 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 collect this information. Need analysis is collecting the information, collecting information about employment avenues. Collecting information about job profile, technical advances, what is state of art technology, what is the latest software be, which are being used in the field of ECE. If I, if, if I have to design a diploma pro, a degree program in civil engineering, so what, what are the software be, being used in the field of civil engineering? So these are the latest technological advances. And then what is the competency, competency profile of technical manpower? What is competency? What do you mean by competency profile? Uh, all, all my friends, I would like uh, them to go to uh, the uh, message box and uh, and answer this question. What is what is competency profile? Competency profile. Anyone? You can also, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to share your thoughts, you can also unmute and directly answer. What is competency profile? What is, what is the meaning of competency? What is a competency? Because at a need analysis stage, I want to know what is the competency profile of our student after they pass that program. So what, what is meant by competency? Anyone, any of my uh, friend who would like to answer what is competency? You can go to the you can go to the message box. Yes, Monal Monas uh, Monal says yeah. Uh, Doctor Aparna says skill communication. Okay, good skill part. And Monal says how much competent a particular student and how much she is able to answer. Okay, okay knowledge part. So how much she is able to answer that means knowledge. And Doctor Aparna says skill part. Okay, Monal says technical knowledge. Okay, great. Uh, Sharda says ability of the say, capability of the students. Okay, knowledge, knowledge part, ability of the student, uh, ability to perform. Uh, uh, Sharda, Sharda, I think ability to perform certain things. So, so that is competence. Okay, I am very happy uh, with answer. So that means, uh, my friends, uh, competency means the knowledge. After after doing a diploma, after completing a de uh, degree, what type of knowledge, technical knowledge, technical knowledge, and otherwise soft, uh, so, uh, th that soft, uh, softer part, non-technical aspect also. So knowledge and the skills. Anna? So competency actually means uh, uh, the capability of the student, the knowledge part, and the skill part. So all these, uh, uh, all these three things: capability, knowledge, skills. They constitute, they constitute capability. And in addition to that, in addition to knowledge and skill, I would like to put one more thing, which is part of competency. That is attitude. Attitude. So my friends, what is competency? Again, let me tell you what is competency. Competency uh, consti uh, consists of three things. Knowledge, 
skills and attitude sometimes i mean so many times you will also appreciate this fact that uh, sometimes uh, the students have the knowledge the students have the skill but if appropriate attitude is not there then then that that, that ability has no meaning you know? if if the student uh, is involved in some destructive activities so that means the, the the goals of our education system the goals of our program have not been achieved so competency uh, for us means knowledge skills and appropriate right type of or positive attitude so that is competency profile Can we improve yes yes so uh, my friends i actually whenever i design a curriculum or our team at nitro chandigarh we design a curriculum we actually craft the competency profile before designing the curriculum content before designing the syllabus we we write down the competency profile of the students who will be passing out from that program so if so if i have to design a curriculum of a degree program in uh, artificial intelligence so this uh, there is a degree program in artificial intelligence so if i have to design a competency profile what what type of knowledge what type of skills our students will be having after they complete that degree program after the completion of that degree program we visualize after interacting with the people from industry we visualize that this type of knowledge our student should have this type of skill this type of attitude our student should have so that skill maybe 20 25 30 in 30 lines i write down this is the competency profile our student should have uh, after passing that uh, particular uh, degree or diploma level program so these things uh, these all these three, four things uh, my friend uh, focus on need analysis need analysis actually means identifying what are the employment opportunities finding out what will be the job profile what type of technical advances what is the state of art technology in that particular field for which we have to design the curriculum and what is, what will be the competency profile of the program which i will be for which i will be designing the curriculum you know, competency profile of the students after they pass a particular uh, degree or de diploma level program so i i collect a lot of information from the industry from the stakeholders in this stage at need analysis this is the first stage of curriculum development and uh, we we visit the industry we go to various types of industry we invite the people from the industry to our institute we we conduct curriculum workshop in which uh, people from industry people from uh, society they they participate people from technical institution they participate and then my friend we decide uh, that this is going to be this is going to be the competency profile uh, of of our pass out students so so this is need analysis we we spend a lot of time sometime it may take around two to three months to 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 analyze the need of the uh, to analyze the need to design a curriculum or to update a curriculum uh, but but th this is very very important without without this stage i cannot think i cannot think of designing the curriculum without this information if this information is not available to me if i do not collect this information there is no purpose of uh, of uh, having uh, this curriculum this this is the foundation need analysis is the foundation of developing a curriculum okay then we go to the the next slide the second stage can you recall the second stage second stage is curriculum design curriculum design stage now it is at this stage uh, you can equate with uh, it with the syllabus part we actually write down the syllabus in curriculum design stage we are actually identifying what are the subject areas you know? at diploma level there are three years and every every semester we are teaching five to six subjects so we identify that in first semester i will be teaching these subjects in second semester these subjects will be taught and then in third fourth fifth sixth semester and for every every subject what will be the theory part what will be the practical part so all these things are decided at this stage curriculum design developing the syllabus developing the detailed content theory part practical part and the and the study and evolution scheme uh, evolution scheme 
uh, how how I will evaluate the student because we are talking about curriculum. It is curriculum. So curriculum talks about how to evaluate the student. The internal internal evaluation for a subject, external evaluation, evalu uh, uh, how many marks I will be uh, allocating for theory, how many marks for practical, what will be the percentage, pass percentage. Uh, so all these things are, are decided here. What is the intention of my curriculum? What is the objective? What is the goal of what I want to achieve? By offering a degree program in electrical engineering, what is what I want to achieve? What type of competency I want to develop in my student? So all this thing is written down here. Slabus, but mainly focusing on the slabus. Uh, my friends, uh, to design a curriculum, now this is very important to design a curriculum we follow different models now this is this is something a technical that uh, if i have to uh, design a curriculum at degree level i have to design a curriculum at diploma level i have to design a technical program if i have then there, there may be condition there may be situation that i have to design a program at a certificate level iti level or uh, design a BSc program at BSc level or BA. Uh, nowadays, nowadays we are we are getting projects uh, to design a curriculum at BA, uh, uh, bachelor level, arts uh, BA uh, programs, or or sometime uh, at uh, BVOC or DVOC DVOC programs also. So for different types of program, for different levels of program, we are following different models. Now this is very very important. And you would be definitely interested to know, sir, what are different models and which program, uh, for which program I'm uh, using which model. So for that, uh, my friends, uh, I have kept a separate session. Uh, I think uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow we are having a separate session, uh, which is on curriculum design models. So, so, but here you, you, you need to keep in mind that whenever I have to design the syllabus, whenever I, I, I have to design the detailed content, or de or design a curriculum i i uh, i follow certain models depending on the level of the program depending on the type of the program and uh, we will share with you what are the what are different types of model and what are the features of these models that we will share with you tomorrow okay so this is the curriculum design stage and uh, my my friends at the end after the completion of this stage my curriculum document is ready my curriculum document is ready at the end of this stage and i hand over the curriculum document to my client if there if there is a request from uh, uh, direct uh, state board of technical education uh, uttar pradesh that i have to design this curriculum so uh, so i first my first step is need analysis second step is curriculum design i design the curriculum i detail out the content my curriculum document is ready and i hand over the document to the to my client okay they have okay then they they whatever they want to do but my project is my uh, my responsibility is only up to this stage to design the curriculum or to update the curriculum sometime uh, the client is asking me to uh, revise or update the curriculum so i update the curriculum so my curriculum document is ready i hand over to them okay so this is the second stage then uh, we go to the okay need an, okay so similarly for first for first stage also there is some uh, uh, outcome at the after first stage what is the outcome that we collect information out uh, uh, i mean uh, we we have a uh, sort of a handout uh, in which we are actually by interacting with the people from industry uh, by interacting with the client we come to know what are the employment avenues uh, for a particular uh, program what is the job profile? What is the technological advances? What is the competency profile? All those things are collected together and we, we, we make a handout. And that we keep for our for our own purpose to further develop the curriculum uh, design. That is called a handout. Yeah, so, so it is a sort of a handout. Uh, it is with us. Uh, it, 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 is a, it, it is a printed copy. It is available with us. So anyone wants to know from you what is what was the needle what was done during needle says uh, can you give, can you share that information with us we can easily uh, we have that information for every program which we are designing we carry out needle says we have a handout and that we can always share with uh, with our client or with other people 
so curriculum design stage our curriculum document is ready and we we pass on that curriculum document uh, to our client okay then after that my friend what is the third stage third stage is curriculum implementation and who will implement the curriculum who will implement client our client will client will implement the curriculum our job is to design the curriculum our job is to revise update the curriculum and then subsequently, my friend, when we hand over the curriculum document to our client, uh, it, it can be a state board, it can be UGC, it can be All India Council for Technical Education. Now it is their duty, it is their responsibility to get the curriculum implemented at national level or at state level or in some, in, if, if, if there is a request from a private institute, one, one private engineering college, then the management of that private engineering college, they, they, their responsibility is to implement the curriculum. Uh, again, uh, curriculum implementation is a very, very critical stage. Uh, we will cover certain things related to implementation. But uh, my friends, there are two to three things uh, which are very, very important, which I would like to share with you. That first of all, if you if if our client has to implement the curriculum, you 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 can be uh, our client in future there are so many programs which we are uh, uh, which we are designing uh, so many curriculum which we are designing and updating uh, for various states if when you have to implement the curriculum uh, in your institute in your state then you need certain resources without resources you cannot implement the curriculum effectively so many times, so many times when I interact with the, the faculty members, when I interact with the teachers, I, I want to know, uh, are you having any difficulties in your institute? Most of the time I am uh, getting this feedback, sir, sir, our institute is not having this thing. Our department uh, is not having this software. Our department is not having this lab facilities. Our department is not having this internet facility and something like that. So resources are very, very important, my friend. So we need to arrange uh, plan for the resources. This is one thing if you have to implement the curriculum properly. And the second thing, second thing is much more important, my friends. Utilization, uh, utilization of resources. Uh, Manisha, Manisha, yes, sir. Manisha, you are there? Yes, sir. Manisha, uh, uh, the, that uh, presentation on the blackboard that is not visible. So, can you help it? there is a power failure that is why it might Achha, not be okay. visible sir. yes sir okay 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 so uh, uh my friends optimum utilization of resources uh, that, that is uh, that is another aspect whatever whatever there there are uh, definitely in every institute there are certain resources that are uh, available in the classroom you are, you are you are having certain resources in your laboratories there are certain certain equipment is there maybe you are having good library maybe you are having good uh, guest house hostel is there so to what extent you are able to utilize that so that is that again is very very important utilization of the resources which you are already having in your institute in your department uh, any uh, any idea what what is the utilization rate in percentage percentage time how much time you are using a particular instrument okay just i will give you an one example then i would like to get your feedback my friends suppose uh, there is a drilling drilling machine uh, in your workshop no you are uh, most of the institute you are having a workshop uh, so in workshop uh, you, you are having different uh, shops are there maybe uh, maybe turning shop is there maybe uh, foundry uh, is there welding uh, welding shop is there carpentry shop is there fitting shop is there so i say let us take one example there is a drilling machine is there uh, in your workshop now how much time i can use that drilling machine i can use it in in one day i can use it for eight hours easily no problem eight hours i can use in one week i can use it for 40 40 hours i can use five days five days working every day eight eight hours 40 hours i can use that uh, that drilling machine and 52 weeks are there 52 weeks are there so multiply it by 52 weeks okay not not 52 let us take 50 weeks 50 into 40 
I can use a drilling machine of your institute for 2000 hours easily 2000 hours we can use I would like to know from you my friends if I can use a, a tool a instrument a machine that is there in your institute for 2000 hours in one year how much time I'm exactly really our people in the workshop ever our, our people in the laboratory or you uh, we all are part of the system how much time in one year we are using a particular machine any idea any percentage time uh, i'm i'm giving you a rough idea that you can use a particular machine you can use a particular tool for 2000 hours 2000 hours you can work on a particular you can use that uh, that tool or instrument how much time we are using uh, that equipment any idea any anyone who would like to share uh, how much time 20 percent 50 percent 80 percent 70 percent any idea anyone would like to share roughly rough idea average sometimes there are there is certain instrument certain equipment which is used more there is certain equipment which is used less but any any uh, rough idea so so monal says 60 percent okay 60 percent is a very good uh, okay monal if you say 60 percent of the time uh, you are able to use i am so happy uh, if you i'll be uh, very 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 much satisfied with the performance if an institute is using uh, the equipment 60 percent okay uh, anyone else anyone else would like to give uh, especially from uh, the uh, from various uh, various institutions especially from polytechnics any would uh, would like to say answer how much time we are using our equipment how much time for how much time we are using percentage in percentage percentage term how much time we are using your equipment so my friends that this utilization of resources percentage utilization of resources that is very very important sometimes you will feel you we 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 you will agree with me that sometimes resources are available but you are not we are not due to some reason or other we are not utilizing it effectively so need need uh, need to uh, need to uh, improve our utilization rate that, that again uh, that again is very very uh, uh, important then to implement the curriculum uh, another important aspect is good learning environment uh, i mean uh, we all we all have to contribute in having a good learning environment uh, it is not uh, the only only the duty of management we cannot say management has to create a good learning environment we are a part of the system so we have to contribute students have to contribute good neat and clean environment greenery all around and i mean if i we have a good environment we we like to give our best if there's a good environment all around students would like to come teacher would like to go to the classes teacher would like to go to the laboratories and demonstrate teacher would like to take the students uh, to engage the students in various activities so good learning environment is very very important for implementation networking with the industry again we we, we have a, a separate section how to network with the industry uh, i cannot visualize uh, any curriculum which is being implemented without involvement of the industry involve involve the industry in all the activities that you are carrying out very very important and training of the faculty training of the student is very very important all the time if you have to implement the curriculum effectively train your faculty train your students all the time training retraining very very important so implementation my uh, my friends implementation is to be carried out by uh, the by uh, the uh, by by our clients and 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 we have to keep in mind that uh, you we arrange the resources and whatever resources are available we utilize the resources interact with the industry and uh, good create good learning environment and training of faculty that is very very important okay then my friend we come to the last uh, last stage the last stage is curriculum evaluation stage curriculum evaluation stage fourth stage is called curriculum evaluation stage Now, what is curriculum evaluation? Uh, I mean, uh, some client gave me the task to uh, to uh, design the curriculum. I have designed the curriculum. 
and after that they they have also implemented the curriculum now what what is the need of this curriculum curriculum evolution it is curriculum evolution you know, evolution of curriculum so what is happening here is my friends sometimes i i design the curriculum i i design a perfect curriculum i am supposing that uh, that what everything is available in your institute you have the faculty you have all the resources and keeping that thing in my mind i design the curriculum and once i design the curriculum you implement that curriculum but when you implement that curriculum you you find difficulty in implementing the curriculum because certain things are not available in, in your institute suppose i say that uh, you 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 provide training uh, to a student on cnc machine suppose i say that you provide uh, a training uh, to the student on a particular software but that software is not available in your institute that cnc machine is not available in your uh, machine that robot is not available in your institute and sir, and you say sir we cannot implement this curriculum because the, the resources are not available in your institute so what is the solution my friends then you come back to us you say sir we cannot implement it please give me a solution so at this stage at curriculum evolution stage i will see what are the problems being faced by you any problem that is being faced by you in implementing the curriculum so we identify that that uh, that uh, uh, problem we identify that problem area and we try to give a solution to overcome that problem we suggest you some remedy lecture that you do this thing and then once i give you the solution then you implement the curriculum again so my friends curriculum evolution actually means identifying the gap if there is a gap between uh, between uh, design and implementation i identify that gap i identify the problem area which you are facing in implementation and i give you a solution for example uh, let us take example for example uh, you are not having a software in your institute right? and and you say sir i cannot uh, teach that uh, this particular subject area because this uh, software is not available in my institute then my friends at curriculum evolution stage i i find out okay if this software is not available is there any other software free free and open source software that is equal some equivalent software that is available on the internet that you can have access that you can access easily so so i will then i will suggest to you that if, if this software is not available that licensed software is not available or it will take some time for uh, some it will take some time to come so in the meanwhile you make use of this free and open source software so my friend this is the way uh, uh, we help you in curriculum evolution we identify uh, the, the problem areas uh, uh, at implementation stage and uh, and we help you we give you certain alternative by which you can uh, implement the curriculum uh, curriculum effectively so so my friends uh, these are the four stages of uh, curriculum uh, uh, curriculum development uh, i hope uh, uh, by now uh, all of you uh, are quite uh, familiar uh, with all the uh, all, all these uh, stages uh, i would uh, like uh, to know from you if there is any question uh, you can uh, you are most welcome but uh, before that uh, just to revise uh, we may, we might be having one or two question uh, at the end of the session so i would uh, like uh, to uh, uh, like all of you uh, to go to the message box and uh, write down the the stage write down the name uh, names of various stages of uh, curriculum uh, i am just uh, writing it down also writing it also just give me uh, one minute so i am writing this question what are what are different stages of what are different stages of curriculum development so so this question i have written down what are different stages of curriculum development 
so go to the message box all my friends uh, you have to complete this one just write down the names of the these uh, stages all my friends uh, please uh, take your own time all all the uh, stages of curriculum uh, curriculum development all of you have to write down uh, the name of uh, those uh, stages a very simple question but just to revise so that whatever we are learning you are in touch with whatever uh, is being taught in the uh, during this program i would like to know from you what are different stages of curriculum development monal has already answered n rose already answered manish already answered good i'm very happy with the progress all other friends please go to uh, go to the message box and otherwise also one or two participants can can also unmute directly unmute and give the answer anyone wants to directly use the speaker mic you can use vandana already answered vandana has given answer to first stage yeah vandana yes sir. Vandana. yes sir vandana. Uh, yes sir it is it is first stage is need analysis then uh, second is uh, curriculum design uh, third implementation and fourth will be evaluation of the curriculum yeah yeah curriculum evaluation not student evaluation it is yes, curriculum evaluation yes, okay yes, curriculum, sir, evaluation. curriculum student evaluation student evaluation, student evaluation uh, is a, is a part of curriculum design when i am designing the curriculum content and there also i am talking about student evaluation this is curriculum evaluation okay yes, sir, yes, sir. curriculum okay. evaluation curriculum evaluation so need analysis curriculum design uh, inba vilya also great mohammad amin very good indumati very good i am very happy so all the four stages you know about four stages so my friends you will appreciate that need analysis is very very important okay i mean sometimes so many times if if the people are not aware about curriculum design what they will do is if they are asked to design a curriculum they will take certain content from the internet and they will cut and paste method but that that is not curriculum that is not curriculum design you actually need to actually need and carry out need analysis that that uh, that takes lot of efforts need to interact with the industry why why we first of all the answer, answer should be why i want to design a curriculum what is the need of uh, designing a, a curriculum or updating a curriculum what are the technological advances what is the competency profile what, what is the job profile what are the employment avenues all this information needs to be collected only then my friends we we uh, we go to the curriculum design stage dr ranju sharma very good uh, very very well done but the uh, need analysis after that after need analysis uh, curriculum design then implementation and then curriculum evaluation these are these are the four stages of uh, curriculum development uh, any uh, any other friend uh, okay i i would like to have one more uh, one more question uh, then uh, Uh, my, my question is what is what is done during curriculum evaluation now this is my second question chitra very good okay now let us focus on the second question what is done during curriculum evaluation uh, you already know that there are four stages need analysis curriculum design curriculum implementation and curriculum evaluation i would like to know from you so that all of you are clear what is done during curriculum evaluation sometime my friends i get a project only uh, that sir please evaluate my curriculum so so many times we are getting this uh, uh, the, the, such project uh, of related to curriculum evaluation so uh, i have kept a separate session on curriculum evaluation uh, that is on the last day but i would like to know from you uh, any participant you can directly unmute and give the answer or 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 you can or you can or you can go to the message box and and uh, give the answer what 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 we are actually doing during curriculum evaluation so monal monal has give the given the answer evaluate the curriculum how effective it is for stakeholder okay very good gap analysis shubendu very very well done monal monal and shubendu great great answers how effective is your curriculum evalu uh, implementation and gap analysis how if there is any gap between gap between gap between design and implementation if there is any gap so we identify that gap 
and give a solution for that. Dr. Anil, very good. Effective effectiveness of uh, implementation of the curriculum. Very good. How effective is your implementation? If, if implementation is not appropriate, what is the reason? And what can be the solution for that one? That is that is curriculum evolution. Identifying the gap and bridging the gap. Identifying the gap and filling the gap. That is that is curriculum evolution. Okay.